Hey guys, what's going on? This is Andrew here today, and I told myself I wasn't going to do this. A year ago, I had stated that I didn't believe that the OLED was worth $349. I felt like they should have lowered the price of the original Switch and maybe kept the price of the Switch Lite, but at least lowered the price of the regular Switch and put that OLED at the $300 price point. Well, um, the reason why I thought that getting an OLED for my collection this time around was a good idea was because, well, this is a limited edition console. This is the Switch OLED Splatoon 3 edition, so I don't know if I'm going to end up getting Splatoon anywhere down the line, but considering this is the first uh, special edition of the OLED, I figured this would be a very worthy investment for myself. I know I did just get the Steam Deck, I got a few other things that I'm going to be making in a pickups video very soon, but today I'm going to be unboxing the Nintendo Switch OLED Splatoon Edition. So, um, I'm not really expecting myself to be absolutely wowed by this thing. I know that the screen is definitely going to look really nice in OLED compared to even the Steam Deck, uh, Steam Deck 720p screen, and especially the screen on the Switch, but... Um, like I said, I don't think I'm going to be 100% wowed by the console considering I'm still like kind of iffy about the frame rates uh, that run on this. Plus, I'm much more of an Xbox PlayStation guy than a Nintendo guy these days. But regardless, this console looks really freaking cool. I can't wait to unbox this, can't wait to get it started. So let's go and do the unboxing right now. Alright guys, so good news is I found my tripod. So in this setup, actually right here, I might as well just give an explanation. Uh, I kind of did a little room rearrangement that I'm going to be uh, showing a video of somewhere in the future. Maybe within the next month or so, I'll get this place fully cleaned up and then be able to finalize the setup and get a video out. So as of right now, my Steam Deck is literally right there and it's actually connected to two external monitors. Uh, one being 4K, the other one being outputted at 1440p. So uh, with Without further ado, let's start uh, opening the box of this system, which usually starts with the flap on the bottom. Come on. There we go. All right. So all I got to do is open it up like this, and we have the first part of the unboxing. We got these beautiful looking Joy-Cons. Uh, I only just saw these for the first time, like what they looked like when I was working at the store today. This one is purplish. This one is like a greenish yellowish, yellowish. but one interesting thing I found was that the back of these things are white. So it turns out that it's almost like these are like kind of skins on the thing. I know they're not skins. I know they're actually legitimately like uh, the new Joy-Cons or whatever, but they kept the back white. So it's almost like they just decided to redesign the front of them and then keep the back just completely the same. So in other words, it's pretty much like stock the exact same as the white ones. So this is the main event right here. They do it right from the beginning, uh, close and personal. So I can barely see, unfortunately, with the lighting in here. I would like to get better lighting, but... Unfortunately, things aren't that easy all the time. So, this is the tablet itself. You know what? Can I figure out how to get flash on this thing? Uh, let me figure that out for two seconds. Alright, so I decided to turn the flash on, and this is what the back of the console looks like. That is just a really cool a graphical design back here. My favorite thing about this uh, OLED Switch that came out with it was definitely that kickstand, how it's not one that just falls right off. It's definitely a much nicer kickstand. This thing definitely is a bit bigger than the actual uh, regular Nintendo Switch, V1 or V2, no matter what. So uh, let's just uh, real quick just take the Joy-Cons right out of the plastic right there just to give you guys a better look. Oh, actually, you know what? I completely missed that there were spots on the back of this uh, just because of the lighting in my room. So this looks really, really cool, I must say. Uh, let's see what the back of the other Splatoon 1 looks like. Taking that out of the plastic, it just looks... Like, really, really cool as well. The back also has some of its dots on the back there, too. So, now I'm just going to mount this Joy-Con on, and I'm going to mount the other Joy-Con on as well. So, wow. Overall, as a console, this definitely looks kind of cool. And I actually, I might even say I might actually feel like I like this one better than the uh, original Nintendo Switch in terms of feel. So, it's basically the whole console, like, like right there. So I'm going to move that all to the side. Taking the top part out of the box, which I'm going to insert back once I actually... Actually, you know what? There's all the manuals in there. I don't need manuals. I know how to run a switch. In fact, you know, while I have this open like this, 
just going to take my warranty sticker that I got from GameStop because I put the one-year protection since I like seeing my coworkers' numbers go up. Um, I just put it right inside that little slot right there. I recommend you guys doing that if you decide to get the warranty on this console as well because we all know Stick Drift sucks and GameStop will actually completely replace the console for you even if it's just the Joy-Cons that had the problem. With this case though, like chances of them ever having the Switch Splatoon OLED is very subtle, very rare, but I mean, if it's anything like the Animal Crossing one, maybe they'll get them again, I have no idea. Regardless, this is the little plastic bubble wrapping that it looks like they have here, and right inside of it, I'm going to try not to ruin the packaging, they have the new and improved Switch dock. Not very, very improved, but improved to say the least. Um, it's got a really cool design in it for one. It's got those uh, that Splatoon kind of thing like you saw on the back of the Switch before. Uh, it's got that special design in the front with the little splatter on there from Splatoon. If we open the back though, if you guys don't know this, they actually added an Ethernet port onto this. So if you wanted to connect to a wired connection rather than going completely wireless, that is now an option with this. So this is actually also compatible with the original Nintendo Switch. So this is not OLED exclusive. It is OLED exclusive that in the terms of it comes with the OLED, but you can use your regular V1 or V2 in this as well and still got that Ethernet connection. So dock out of the way. We also have the HDMI cable that comes with the thing. We have, it looks like, the power cable that comes with the thing, which is just the standard black cable for both of them. It's not like they're special edition HDMIs or anything, so we don't even need to open those. These, however, look to be special edition straps. So, not significantly special from what I'm looking at here, other than the actual strap color themselves. Chances are I'm going to use the straps, I barely ever do, so I'm just going to keep them in the packaging the way that they are, not even going to worry about that, but the very last thing that is coming in this box would be the uh, comfort grip for this, and as it looks, just looks like another regular comfort grip, so it doesn't look like they did a special edition with this one either, so what I'm actually going to end up doing is just leaving it in here as a spare because I already have a comfort grip uh, for my V1, and it's not like I'm going to be using two switches at once anyway. So once I figure out how this all goes back in, I'm gonna do that. Let's just take this out of the plastic first. I would keep all the plastic for the console, just in case for some reason I feel like selling it in the future. I like to keep everything, so I'm gonna put all that back in there. Going to take the HDMI cable right out. I know I have multiple HDMIs, but I'm going to use this one specifically for the Switch. Take that power cable right out. Throw everything right back in. And as a matter of fact, I'll probably take some of it and put it on the top layer if I can't get it to go in there snug. So, one in there pretty perfectly at that point. I'll just take whatever plastic was remaining, put it over here. So all the remaining plastic is now going to go inside of the switch box, just like that, with my warranty sticker and everything else in there. Just like that. Switch OLED is completely unboxed, you know, but something's still in the box, so... Essentially, the only things I left in there were the comfort grip and the Joy-Con straps, but what did we get out of all that? We got the Switch dock. We got my actual Switch itself with the nice Joy-Cons. We've got the power cable for the Switch. And lastly, we've got the HDMI cable. So, that is the unboxing for the OLED. Um, in a few seconds, I'm just going to give my first impressions of the console. Alright, so actually one other thing before I get to my first impressions. I actually missed this major detail. The USB ports are now on the outside of the dock compared to where they were only be able to be seen from the inside of the original dock. So that's just something I wanted to point out. Completely uh, didn't even see that, so I figured I would include that. So yeah, let's now get into the first impressions. 
All right, guys, so I got to mess around with my OLED for a little while. I figured I'd give it like a half an hour for me to kind of just see what I can do on the thing. So I installed Kirby's uh, Kirby and the Forgotten Land on this thing. I scrolled around the menus a little bit. You know, I signed everything onto here. So all of my information from the past, which is now on my OLED. So I really love the way that the kickstand feels so far. Um, I love the way that the console feels in my hands. This really feels like an amazing console to me. Um, I will say the colors on this thing specifically look incredible. I've never really used an OLED screen before other than my PS Vita, the version 1 of the PS Vita. That's a much older OLED screen compared to one like this, so this is going to be better, plus this one is 720p, so it definitely is a cool experience uh, as technically my first OLED display that I've ever really got to uh, take a look at. I've actually never seen an OLED panel in person before, uh, believe it or not. I've never seen an OLED panel in person before other than when I've taken people's switches, switch lights into in for trade or if I help someone set up their OLED. I wasn't really like when I'm basically helping customers at GameStop I'm not really like thinking to completely just 100% I really get my brain into how good things look I kind of just you know try to help the customer get the line going you know get the task done so I wasn't really inspecting it the way that I'm inspecting it right now and I must say the colors pop really nicely I was able to play a little bit of Kirby on here and although the visuals on Kirby can be I could be better. I think that a lot of the artwork definitely shines on a screen like this. I very much hope that if Nintendo comes out with a, well, they will come out with a successor, but when they come out with a successor to this console, I hope that they carry on the OLED display onto that, because I really think the one thing that this console could use is more power, because overall, the old specs of the Switch are going to be holding this thing back, at least in my opinion, because we're still getting 30 FPS visuals, we're still not even sometimes hitting the full 720p, uh, a lot of times we're never hitting the full 1080p, so I would definitely love to see um, them come out with another Switch that has this kind of screen, but also has the power to back it as well. I'm not expecting that they're going to match it to the power of the Steam Deck, but if they make it like anywhere close, like on par or even more powerful, I would love that to be a thing. So eventually down the line, I think I'm definitely going to do a review on the OLED since this is really the last version of the Switch that I never got to review just yet. I did the version 1 slash version 2, um, just it pretty much, version 1 and version 2 are basically the same minus the battery life. I did the Switch Lite, and I think now it's time for me to do a review of the OLED now that I have the version of this. On top of that, I'm going to be doing a review of a few other tech products that I have here, but um, basically staying on topic for the Switch in this video, I definitely think I'm going to be trying to do a full review of this so far. That's kind of just my first impressions. I got that out of the way, so I want to thank you guys for sticking around. Uh, that is the end of this video. Thank you guys for coming to my unboxing and my first impressions. I will see you all in the next video.